Hello there everyone, my name is Ayumu Kagami, welcome back to Hand of Fate 2, let's go with the Pie Priestess. We gotta make our deck, we only have one companion so there's no point, uh, so I, actually I don't know if we can switch it, can we actually? Okay, I didn't think we could actually remove it. <clears throat> Getting blessings to increase your chance of success for tributes. Uh, Northern Honor, do not expect to be welcomed by Northerners. Uh, survive Mount Freed by restoring life at a camp. Okay, so probably going to take a lot of damage here. So we want uh, a lot of food so we could heal. Uh, collect blessings in order to earn the Ritual House of the Summit of Mount Freed. No Gaishi Treaty. Okay. So we want things that'll give us blessings, which I don't believe we have a single thing that will. Um, we want to be able to finish the quest. And well, Hold on. That, that's money taken away. Let's Let's stop for a second. Yes, we want to continue his. Um, uh, I actually have no clue what else will give me blessings. So, all new stuff. Because I don't, I don't know what'll give us a blessing. Um, and we have Winter's Bane. Hold on, what, what does this do? Don't know, because it's new. Uh, that's new, that's new. I like the swords. I don't really like the axes. Uh, that's that's always been like my play style in games. I'm much more into quicker attacks rather than heavier attacks. Let's start things up. You find yourself once again in the company of prayer and religion. <laughs> How unfortunate. Now it begins. Negotiations on behalf of the Empire. We will see how that story ends. And with there being the two tokens, uh, silver is you beat the mission, and then gold is you did whatever uh other thing there was um that uh you could do so super complete the mission it's a bad way of putting it but that's what it is malclips has somehow roped you into traveling deep into the far north on a diplomatic mission while i was while i usually refrain from working for the empire since this one takes me further away from it i'll made i've made an exception it'll square my debt with general bradstrom and help open many doors for you what do you say let's ask how we can help uh, as you know i have a great many skills but my swordsmanship is unlikely to hold up against northern raiders i know no one else who is more up to the task uh, let's ask about the leader of the raiders there are many clans dotted around, but the supposed leader of the all is the High Priestess who lives up here. Mount up to the top, soaring mountains before you. General Branston instructed me not to come back until I find talk to the High Priestess in the north and offer terms of treaty he expects. Alright, let's go. Uh, excellent. Bring your sword and let me do the talking. Says Malaclips, I brought plenty of supplies so we can set up camp when we get hungry. 25? Jeez. Um, Malclub shares a tidbit of the commer. Commence your journey. The high priestess is quite partial to blessings. If you can prove yourself worthy, we'd have a better chance of swaying her in our favor. Collect at least six blessings before we meet her. I don't have any blessing cards. You grit your teeth and begin your ascent. A lesson in caution awaits us all. High up on the mountain, nature. we have a... Truly wild nature will not tolerate fury in its domain unless it is its own high up on the mountain you see a silhouette of a man approaching though uh, through the heavy snow he bellows through the roaring wind who dares trespass on the sacred ground of priestess our priestess hidden raiders spring down the mountain in the dexterity dexterity of goats they're dexterous fellas We don't have any... Uh, I believe there may be an axe or something that's good against them. Raiders, from a frozen darkness of the far north they come. Northerners can perform combo attacks. Use repulse to 
with single-handed weapons to deal extra damage immediately after you defend. He's very, very helpful. Oh! Right, okay. Uh, very important thing to note. This is not Dark Souls. So, uh, you don't get, like, the iframes that Dark Souls does. You actually need to, uh, get out of the way. A and after, like, saying that, my brain is, like, frozen. Uh, thinking this is Dark Souls. Um, which is a very, very bad thing. Because this is not Dark Souls. You do not get iframes in your dodge. In fact, in your special attack, you get some iframes. That's not the dodge, though, so you don't get those iframes. <sighs> got Cardinal Blade. Of the awesome. Templars and their religious 20 gold? Dang, that's a lot. Uh, Clash of Steel rings out, echoing in the... Through the peaks, the mountain answers with a low, ominous rumble as the wall of white rushes towards the melee, sweeping away anything in the path. Wow. Uh, yeah, let's let's re-roll everything. Wow. The dice are fair, and thus you have lost this round. The avalanche engulfs you, tossing you weightlessly down the mountain. <laughs> At least ten light. Uh, yes, I would love Winter's Bane. Also, that's awesome. I got one. Um, you pry the weapon for the frozen land and continue up the mountain before the raider has a chance to free himself. Um, awesome. I'm a camp. Campfires will always offer warmth. Uh, come PC meat, says. But they also change with each challenge. Be prepared. I come in peace, he says. I make pilgrimage to the high priest who's helping you no harm. Without waiting your approval, he slumps down beside you. Uh, so we can trade, buy food. What's he got for equipment? Don't care. Don't have money for it. Actually, I can sell the cardinal blade and then I'd have money for it. And since I am, like, literally the worst person in existence... Oh, you know what? Sometimes it's better not to do that. Um, there are times when, like, you'll have to give up equipment. And we could, uh... We could lose equipment we don't want to lose. So. We'll go up that much. I really shouldn't have had to. But... I... I, <laughs> I shouldn't have talked about Dark Souls. Because that damned me. Careful where one takes refuge, even in the worst of storms. With little warning, a snowstorm sweeps to the north. The snow whips against you like shards of glass obscuring your vision. You struggle to find cover. Oh, no. I think it's this one. I do not know how to follow these cards. Your climb becomes unbearable. You seek shelter in a cave and desperately fight off the onset of frostbite. Uh, you are alerted to the sound of shuffling footsteps. You can barely make out the silhouettes of menace, menacing figures who have invaded your shelter. Uh, <laughs> wow. Uh, you are not the sort who'd want to be in such close quarters with. They are not the sort who'd you want to be in such close quarters with. Wow. All right. Thank God I used... I actually healed more than I intended to, because... I am awful. Winter's Bane. Used to defeat those in need. Used to defend those in need. That is a very powerful repost. I love, like, that, um, that, like, tealish cyan color. I love that color. It's awesome. It's very, like, futuristic-y. I love it. It's a great color. And free supplies. As the blizzard eases, the intruders make their escape. Malclub's forges for firewood, saying, This log is dry enough. We can set up camp for the night. Access campfire in between encounters, so you can eat food. And suck. I don't want it yet. 
children. <laughs> it's hard to conceive that either of us were ever such. He's just a small child, you over here. A deeper voice growls. We have we have to take him to the dungeons or else he'll run straight into whatever northern clan he spawned from and show them our outpost. Uh, that's a shitty looking kid. I wouldn't trust him as far as I could throw him, says Malaclips. Let's save the boy. Unleashing, unsheathing your weapon, you demand they let the boy go. The Empire soldiers are unmoved by your threat. All right, well, let's save him. See how that'll go. Maybe we'll get something out of it. I don't know. Since it's a new card, we don't know what it holds in store for us. Watchmen. Taken from the dregs of society, elevated to petty positions of power. Watchmen can block, greatly reducing incoming damage. Use Bash to open them up. That's why I'm, I'm a big fan of uh, um, Malaclipse for his ability. Um, because he creates that shield... And it gives you the added benefit of, you know, uh, the the first hit you would have taken, you do not take. Malaclaps. Lay it on me, bro. Oh, a double kill! Man, I'm great. One of the best Hand of Fate players, uh, e, uh, what's it, Oceanic. <sighs> Health potion. Health potion. Uh, as you check on the unconscious guards, you notice a boy looking at you warily as if seizing, sizing you up. Man! These rolls are awful. Good. Wow, I barely made it. I got two sixes and a one. Sets the tone for your challenge. He fiddles with the little dried plant hung around his neck nervously. Okay. Uh, I will tell you, there was an empire ambush on our village and I ran with mother. We got separated. He wipes some tears from his face angrily. But I am not afraid. I am a chat. I am clan catsfoot and we are great pathfinders. I will find my way home. The boy tells you what he knows of the area. Ah, uh, it's okay, I guess. I, not Blizzard, so that's actually awesome. And you gain two fame. The small northerners, the small northern boy refuses any of your any and all help, and you only wish him luck. And this disappears into the forest. Not every temple has crumbled into the. I have money. Um, what's beggar's charm? Get up to twenty gold to be in the map. If you have less than twenty, no. Up to twenty. Okay, no. Adds two to your dice. That one's pretty good. If your max life is less than 150, you may discard food or equipment cards to gain plus five max life. Eh. Gain 15% life for every gold gain you receive. Eh. Receive two food for every guy's dice gamble. I like this one. You leave with your new blessing and you gain six. The mountain Ascension. Itself. Pushes you Let's ascend. I, I don't think I'm gonna get anything out of a blizzard. Witches I will tolerate. They have at least stepped into the streams of power that magicians call home. As you ascend the snowy Mount Freydis, you happen upon a cottage with pungent smoke wafting out of the chimney. A frail old lady sweeping snow off the path beckons you to come in. We've come in search. Oh wait, we've come in search of the great high priestess to deliver an important message to Malclips. You'd better be, uh, you'd better go bearing blessings if you want to go in the high priestess's good side. I'm fixing a batch right now if you'd like a taste. If you got the, uh, if if I've got it right this time, you could take it too. Uh, she says during the cauldron. Malclips pol politely declines. I've been watching what I eat, but my companion has an insatiable appetite. He says, nudging you forward. Um, this one. Damn it! <laughs> you take a sip of a putrid potion and feel your stomach churn. I I know I shouldn't have substituted the cloud berries with bog berries. She says, comforting you. Choose the righteous path, and you'll find a blessing on your own. I'm sure. 
You step outside the uh, blistering cold and continue up the mountain phrase. Damn it! I think ah, that's fine. In the cold, men become desperate. All right, I'm a little mad now because I chose such an awful path to take. Uh, with little warning, a snowstorm sweeps up to the north. Uh, you struggle to find cover. I don't know how to follow these. You climb. The climb becomes unbearable. You seek shelter in a cave and desperately fight off the on off off the onset of frostbite. When the howling wind eases, you clear the, the snow. Uh, you clear the snow from the cave's entrance to discover the dark clouds of past. <sighs> Man eating trees. On a, on, high on a misty. See the beauty in this plant. True wonders still remain. Treat it gently. High on a misty mountaintop, you discover a vicious looking plant. Its gaping mouth looks more than capable of shredding you to pieces, but at the base, you notice some unusual fruit. Throw a piece of equipment. Dude, I'll get rid of my shield. I, I need I need pure I need uh, blessings. Yeah. You launch the bastion of purification at the creature with a snap of its jaws. The item disappears. You pluck one of the fruits while it is distracted. The fruit is especially delicious, leaving you feeling refreshed and vigorous. That's just max life. Oh, I thought that was a blessing. The creature crawls up to protect the remaining fruit as you leave the area. Mm, I don't want care about max life. A grand opportunity for you to take um, pieces you. And go about your day. Let's do Beggar's Charm. Um, because we're at two gold and the next map we're going to go. If there is another one, I definitely want it. My loathing for the oh, vile humans! And my despair that the world is becoming less strange and arcane as the Empire spreads. Halt, vile humans! A voice calls out as dozens small creatures leap in the trees around you. It takes a moment to realize they are gnomes. Dirty, poorly armed gnomes. A few hold spears, but mostly have rocks or sharp sticks. We seek arms to defend ourselves, the gnomes declare loudly. Hand over some of your equipment and we'll release you. You can even pay... F ah. I'll give you some food for a helmet, says one of the small folks. No, I'll give you some armor! Give me some armor and I'll give you a health potion, chimes another. Uh, no, I have nothing to give you. You refuse the gnomes attack the collection of sharp sticks and rocks flying in your direction. I don't have any equipment. The gnomes quickly retreat into the trees, peering at you from the shadows until you leave. Also, those were awful options. I didn't want them. With the least of notice. Uh, uh, this is the avalanche card again. Your feet can slide away. I, I... I will probably ignore like the repeat cards so if it's like if we've just done it like avalanche we know what that is um and there's nothing different about this card but we did succeed last time which is why i read it on uh, the other one god that helmet looks stupid trapper one of the frozen plane on the frozen planes prey are few and far between the keen eyes of the trapper see all trappers throw hunting traps with snare the snare is their target use evade to avoid traps or break the using directions okay. rapidly. Not less than the amazing yeah, get wrecked ha nerd I was not expecting him to just go down That's right. Damn it, I get to use my special. Oh well. Knocked his helmet clean off. <sighs> Is that a blessing? Question rings out. Slips everything in the path. Ah, oh, right. Adds two to all die. Uh, or maybe it's just, I don't know. Uh, you seek shelter. When the trembling stops, you react. You retrieve, let's retrieve the weapon. Oh, wait. Uh, your assailant's weapon juts out from the snow. As you near, you release it. So the clutch of the hand, his body buried. Um, let's dig him out. Uh, as the brave cold, you free the raider from the icy grave. He takes a moment to catch his breath and says, You saved me. 
Though we were enemies by blood, take my blessing and leave me as my thoughts. Oh, sweet. Uh, optionally retry. Nice. Will you push on despite nature itself? Okay. We're at four of six. This is the end. Um. Old witches. Uh, it's the witch again. Them, but I would not trust them. I believe it's this one is a yeah let's uh let's take it it's a blessing i don't know what the other blessings are after all your re-rolls in the divine game re-roll your lowest type. that's actually pretty okay if i want to take it uh you take a sip from the aromatic potion and feel a warm fuzzy feeling flowing through your body look schlock my recipe is a success i'm sure the high priestess will appreciate this one you thank the old lady and continue on mount freitas paying no need to the blizzard all right, we just need one more. Make the underneath. Hard to eradicate the best of times. We have our ways of hiding from the light. Following my eclipse's cryptic dis di directions, many of which involve bar <laughs> borrowing farm animals, uh, you arrive at the edge of a vast and lonely lake. There, you uncover a cave entrance blocked by a stone door. We must seek out Ira the Veil, Ira of the Veil, in the underground, underneath. <laughs> The bard has explained as you follow a frightened cow around the previous night. Uh, why do we gotta do this? Malcolm straps his wine bottle nervously and forces a loud and hearty laugh, completely ignoring your question. Uh, the respectable ogre manages ogre manning the door, the underneath, doesn't look up from his book as you approach ten food items per entry. Malcolm scoffs for robbery if you're trying to hustle us, sir. I'll have you know that I can shoot lightning out of my fingertips. Times are hard for us, Mal. Let's see. Fine, have ten food. The ogre places his book down, and with a mighty push, of the stone door rolls open. Now, a tunnel takes you deep under the, uh, deep below the earth, opening up in a vast limestone cavern, twinkling on the edge of underneath underground lakes. Lies in small shanty town, red lanterns lining the streets. Malcolm's leads on. Welcome to the underneath, coin slave. Since the bothersome empire, edit. Uh, we've had to hide away in places like this. This used to be quite a hub of activity, but now he surveys the silent streets grimly. I guess the Empire is increasing its forces. A few mage eyes you suspiciously as you pass by. Pursue the stores, enter the Devil's Ear Tavern. Let's just find his contact. I don't want to spend any money. Um, or potentially lose my chance to do this. Malclips leads the way through the dim, lonely streets to Ira's house. You can hear screaming coming from within. A woman in robes adorned with silver ornaments greets you at the door. Merc says it would, uh, you would come begging for help regardless. Wait. Merc said you would come begging for help regardless. You are late. Malclips bow bows with a grin. I have an illness. I am hoping to purchase a cure. Ira of the Veil frowns for a bit, nodding and then letting you into her house. You enter the sitting room and the source of the wailing is made clear. A man locked in a cage crying in fevered anger, fevered agony, sores of corrupt, a corruption festers on his body. Without warning, she opens the cage and the man rushes at you, but with surprising strength, Iris subdues the mad withering creature, writhing creature. Uh, this is... Uh, this is the mage Cohen. He thought he could fight off the corruption, but he could not. Ira watches Malclips carefully as Cohen's cries get more and more guttural. What should I do with him? The bard looks away, disgusted of, and fear on his face. He appears close to passing out. She nods before turning to him. What will you do? Keep him locked up. She throws the creature back into the cage and locks the iron gates. Then you wait. Malkoth makes a feeble joke about getting, going to get some candied buns and slowly, but a withering glance from Ira convinces him to stay. The imprisoned mage begins to deteriorate quickly. The sores of corruption spread across his body and blood begins to pour from his mouth. As he throws himself in the cage in the umpteenth time, you know no shred of humanity remains. Ira flings an enchanted shard of ice from her hand into the corrupted mage's throat, killing him instantly. You are too weak, she glances at Malclips, who is staring wide-eyed at the dead mage. The both of you. With the de with that dealt with, Ira begins tinkering on the table, strewn dead things. Uh, I do have a cure, but as you know, nothing comes 
free with our kind. She taps silver dust from a bottle. Save the stolen mage children for me. And I will give you a kill. Still, what secrets does your companion hide from you? Uh, those Empire bastards have taken them to some walled fort in the docks of the city. Uh, ask how Ira knows Malclips. He was my lover when I was young and stupid, Ira says matter-of-factly. Nonsense, Malclips shouts. Why am I alluring... Why I'm alluring at all ages? <laughs> you'd, you'd be glad to have me still. Ira gives Malclips a severe look and he box carrying in his seat. Uh, ask what his illness is. You're laughing. He hasn't told you. Then why not... Then it's not my place to say, but you. But know this, friend of Malaclips, if he doesn't find a cure soon, you are in grave danger. Nonsense, Malaclips stands on un unstoppering. I guess it's like uncorking a wine bottle nervously. Uh, you had better hurry, Ira smiles at Malaclips. That illness can't be held at bay much longer, I'd wager. Hard and belief. Alright, now let's check out the store's curses, blessings. Uh, you follow the sign through the lonely street until they lead to the same sizable hill of colorful rags there. You leave a mark at one stood. The other woman climbs in the pile. Remove all your curses and blessings. Blessings, curses, you don't need to. They're normal. I'll trade you all of them for a shiny rock. Nope. <laughs> uh, the oddments. Sniffs backs away. I'm done. I'm leaving. Uh, Malabar turns around to uh, catch a glimpse from his uh, of hope in his eye. Uh, he she avoids his gaze. Talk to, uh, take the children of the madmen near for Forest Ford. They run an orphanage. I fear it is no longer safe here. Blizzard. Pain cards really don't bother me. Uh, with little warning, a snowstorm sweeps up from the north. The snow whips against you like shards of glass. Blah blah blah. Definitely redraw. <laughs> How did I draw the stupid thing twice? <laughs> the climb becomes unbearable. You seek shelter in a cave desperately uh, to fight off that. Uh, you get to you get to fight people. I got okay. So on on this, I've gotten. Super failure three times. Ah, that sucks. All right, man. Berserker fueled by rage, fueled with rage, and determined to destroy. Berserker's weapons are imbued with ice that slows their enemies' movements. Nope. I'll pierce your heart. I'll pierce your heart. Wait, now I'll pierce your heart. Now, uh, become roasted toasted. <laughs> it's called Ninja. You just got an achievement. Nice! <sighs> got gold. Blizzard! There's no way I can draw it another time. I think it's this one. <laughs> oh! I I don't know what to say. Apparently I know how to keep eyes on that one. <laughs> Please help. I need help with the gambit. <laughs> Somebody. Ah! 
I, I, someone please. I need all the help in the world. Because apparently I do not know how- Malaclips! Okay. You'll get wrecked. Oh, <gasps> yes. Even though he's at max health. Actually, I don't think that one was at max health. But apparently, I am not good enough. To, uh, understand how not to pick you. Wait, maybe I'm so good that I can always find. That was that was really bad. I think the game may actually like know that it takes a little bit of getting used to with the combat, and that's why they give Malaclips having a shield right away. Just a theory. Just an inkling. Uh, a speculation, as if you will. Alright, yep. Yeah. Awesome. Ten gold. Uh, I can't camp. Your Westwind Tavern. Are running low. Make your choices carefully. Westwind only tavern. The Rusty Razor is a safe haven. <sighs> Among the many dangers of the outer reaches of the Empire, its barkeep sits outside his establishment with a look of resigned defeat. Upon your arrival, he jolts straight up and smiles, almost breaks across of his face. At last, someone of the guild is here. These Empire soldiers have almost ruined me. Before you can disguise the owner, he can disagree, the owner swings open the saloon door and pushes you inside. Inside, you discover a handful of Empire soldiers enjoying the ale rather than doing their duty. The freshly invigorated barkeep hops onto the table and shouts above the noise. You lazy drunken deserters are done! The steward's guild has sent an enforcer here, and now you're all going to have to get back to your post. This town needs defending. One of the soldiers raises, raises with a slight sway. You've got three days until I shift that and we return to civilization. No, they're not going to fight. If they're threatening to play, well, right, kids? A rackers cheer erupts and the beer tankard smashes together all around. Why do you take his tiny eagle beard and shove up? Badge. I need. I need money. You suggest the menace of the soldiers should report to duty or they'll report to a healer. Eh. It's this one. Fuck yeah! Mm. That was so slow I could... You were the biggest fucking idiot. Mm. Hey, I deserve this. I, I, I hit redraw. I, I got it. I'm so mad. I'm so mad. I even picked it too. I'm so angry. You can see my face. Soldiers, they have shields. I am I'm 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 so angry. I I picked heavy fail multiple times. Or it's not heavy fail, but it's huge failure multiple times. Um 
I... I, I'm, I'm, I'm so disappointed in myself. I even got the success. But you know what I didn't do? Hit the right button. <sighs> so mad. We're almost done, though. And there are no more blessings here. We get armor. I want to know what the ring does. Gain 10 max life when you have more blessings than curses. <sighs> Defense add plus one to weapon charge. Every third step does not consume food. We're not going to have three steps. Use Defender Reflect. <sighs> I don't know. Let's just go with that. Valuable for purely financial reasons, if nothing else. Well, we got a gajillion food there. We actually succeeded it. I, maybe that's one you'll succeed regardless. These are the choices. Pauper's that make play. The hero. Town crier announces the, the, the empire seeks mercenaries to join the battle against corruption to find the watchtower, where recruitment is taking place. Reverend Town here, Sir Malfoy. Malfoy. Malafowl plan to wipe out the pauper's district. The outbreak begins there. You cannot risk sparing lives, he says. Um, uh, Mr. Malafowl, the green leads the mercenaries in the pauper district and the poor are sick and wailed off from the east of the city. As you hear the wailing of the corrupted, Sir Malfoy is the commanded charge. I guess we'll fight it. Um... I'm not going to get a blessing out of this, which is kind of depressing, but whatever. Uh, we messed up twice, I think, on getting a blessing. Or we missed two potential opportunities. If we picked the guy up, um, we could have gotten a blessing. Uh, where are you? I froze up on what button I was hitting. I always get a kick out of it when games do this. Um, but the uh, bosses of early game become the. Uh, am I a thing? Am I a thing? Thank you. Uh, the bosses of early game become the uh, enemies of late game. I always like it when that happens. Look, it's pretty cool. Because it's like, just how far you've come that this was a boss or a challenge, and now it's not supposed to be. Because your skills have improved. We got two fame. Got some food. All right, this is gold, not food. And it's all useless. You know what? I'm gonna... I'm gonna camp. Uh, trade. Uh, buy food. I don't know if um, it's going to make a difference. That's ridiculous. I don't know. What, whatever. Just yeah. I should have done the three first because it was for ten. I did the one. And then it split it all. I don't care about that. Finish trading. We'll cook food. Oh, jeez. I didn't realize I could do it that quickly. Um, uh, break camp. Confrontation. We gotta enter it. As you enter the stats of her people and drive the deal the Empire has requested, or will you turn and flee? As you enter the Great Hall, the towering arch doors swing open with a heavy creak. A giant a giantess in a velvet robe enters accompanied by raiders. Malclips bows low to the ground. My companion and I have been sent forth to discuss a tra truce between the Empire and Northern's Milady. So they will send me a silver-tongued devil and his mercenary, she smirks. I hope for your sake you have decent offering before the princess. We do not! If I bless him with a pitiful effort with a flick of her wrist, bolts of lightning strike at you. You still have a chance to defeat this mission, even if imperfectly. Oops. 
Uh, her radar is charged toward you, towards you. I forgot that the cards don't necessarily need to be clicked away. So. Oh, you're disgusting. You suck. Uh, I'm going to attack you with men. That's exactly what it read. Word for word. A verbatim, as you might say. Berserker champion. Fierce, loyal, and relentless. Champion of the High Priestess. Berserker weapons are imbued with ice. I'm just so disappointed in myself that uh, we, we wound up messing up like some easy things. And it, it could have been avoided like super easily. But... That's how it goes. I'm not going to, you know, focus on it too much. It, it's more incredible that I was able to, like, fuck up that tremendously. I mean, it takes serious talent to, to get a 1 in 25 chance so many times in a row. Especially uh, while trying to avoid it. Um, but absolutely, if someone knows how to do the dice, like, I, I look at the cards, I, I try to watch the top card to see where it goes. Like, I, I pick a card and I watch it move, um, and I try to see it, but if the card isn't on top, I don't know where it is anymore. So I don't know if it should just be, like, you see, you'd have to, like, uh, multi-vision, see what top card is, and then, like, if that's the good one go for it elsewise keep watching that card and see where it goes i don't know even though you failed to bring me an offering i'm impressed with how you wield your sword now hear my terms high priestess draws herself up and uh, a towering figure draped with fern and wrath the north will never bend to the empire blood for blood for blood those are my terms small one let your leader hear it and quake with that you make quick descent and relay the message back yeah, so we just got a basic victory. I don't know what a gold victory actually gets us. More stuff, that's for sure. Um, so pretty pretty bummed about that, but whatever. Um, it is what it is. Stolen ones. Uh, if I ever get like stuck on something, I might go back and try to take care of some of these. Um, cause this one will be easier once we have more blessing cards, um, and the sword. So that was this episode. Thank you very much everyone for watching. I do sincerely appreciate it. We'll be back in the next episode with probably the Empress. I hope you're enjoying the series. If you are enjoying it, hit that like button. It means a lot and subscribe to stay up to date on all the new fantastical episodes or stuff or whatever videos that are out on YouTube, them for me. But thank you very much, everyone. And I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.